Mr. Barfield, just what do grassroots racing mean to you when you look at today's stars? Well, I'll tell you what, you look at these cars like, like he brought out Rodney's car. I remember whenever he was running his late model car. And I mean, I remember it looks just like it. And I mean, you know, like that's where we're all, that's what's got us here. As a racing family, you know, my family's big into racing. You know, just now we don't, we don't do it as a driver, me driving anymore. Now we do it as a family, but we're doing it working a racetrack. So we're still racing together. We're just not doing it the way that we used to do it. So, but grassroots racing, um, these drivers worked on a lot of their race cars. They they uh, know how the mechanics of them work. Um, and you can relate it to a lot of the drivers in their previous race cars that they run late model cars and stuff like that. And I think it's a great idea to introduce some of these older cars from the throwback days of being their late model type cars. So, you know, very, um, very, um, very satisfying at the end of the day. And obviously you had your share of success as a driver. Uh, do you, is there someone driving now that you can say, wow, I remember when he was coming up that who raced at Dillon? Oh, you know, definitely. Time? I mean, you know, like, um, you know, with my background years ago and then, and then now as on in a racetrack now, like I've seen the Ryan Blaney's come through. I've seen the Chase Elliott's come through my racetrack. I've mm -hmm. seen, you know, uh, Kyle Busch has been there. I mean, just literally a lot of your racers, but I'd say, you know, last year's champion Ryan Blaney. I think the first time he came to Dillon, he was 12 or 13 years old. Oh, wow. You know, so you can definitely see, you know, um, the transition of learning to race every week. How special was that to see him? And you look back to those days, he's 12 years old, and he's the cut champion. Yeah, I mean, definitely. You know, like you look at the old pictures, and, I mean, he's very, very short. And, I mean, he could barely get in a race car and stuff like that. And, you know, I've, even driving for Bill, when I drove for Bill years ago, uh, my job was to go and put Chase and put him in the car seat. That's how... 1996 he was born you go put him in the car seat well anyway now he come to my racetrack when he was about 13 years old and i said chase do you remember me he goes man i don't remember you i don't remember you because it was so many years ago <laughs> and he was a baby but uh you know you know 13 years old he comes to my racetrack and you know you go out there and you kind of show him the line around the racetrack and share stories about his daddy and um you know just a just a great sport i'll tell you what i'm just tickled to death to be involved in what's